Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. I'm the founder of the Grayman Method, as well as one of the first original coaches to be helping people to fully recover from OCD. After a thousand videos, 15 years of experience, my message is still remaining the same. You can fully recover from OCD. I recovered, my clients recovered, and you can fully recover too. Today is a very important video and Please listen to it to the end because it will prevent you having a relapse, okay? When you have OCD, in the beginning, you have OCD thoughts all day long, 24-7. You're awake, you got OCD thoughts, you have them until the moment you fall asleep. That was everybody, that was me when I was going through it, that's how OCD goes, okay? As you start to feel better, your OCD starts to be maybe once a day or a few times a day, but not all day. Then maybe, again, like I said, once a day, then once every few days, then once a week, then a few times a month. And if in that moment where, let's say, you haven't had an OCD thought for a week, you got an OCD thought and you're like, oh my God, it came back. That's it. I'm never going to recover. You're going to start veering into meta OCD, OCD about OCD. What if I never recover? You start to ruminate about that. Again, it all comes down to rumination. So you start to ruminate about why am I never going to recover? You're just getting into a new theme. This is not OCD came back. This is I was at a stage of being so bad that it was all day every day now i'm at a stage where it only comes around once a week i'm continuing to work on it until it doesn't come around at all it's just a stage it's not that it came back do you understand and that's very important for you to know and also very important for you to anticipate not in a way of anticipatory anxiety of course but in a way of being prepared that okay i'm right now on an ocd pattern where ocd comes in once a week it's probably gonna come in at the end of the week so when it does i'm gonna be prepared i will react appropriately meaning not ruminating into an oblivion not googling not checking not asking I'm not going to do any of those things because I am prepared. I know it's going to come in. I'm going to do nothing. And if you do this and you're not surprised by it and you don't veer into meta OCD because somebody said online that you can't recover. Somebody who said online that you can't recover, I told you a million times, are people who are doing on-purpose exposures and that's it. And they're right. You can never recover that way. So don't listen to them. They're on a completely different program trajectory disregard. But don't fall into this meta stuff. It's completely normal. Everybody recovers this way um, where it doesn't just like boom and it's gone and that means it's never going to come back. It's longer and longer and longer time periods until it just fades out of existence in your life. I would say really how do you know you're fully recovered? I always say this in other videos as well is give yourself six months with no OCD because a that's a long period of time for you to heal on a physical level from OCD and b as you are uh, healing you're also going through life trials and tribulations and when there's stressors when there's change of scenery uh, good times, bad times, stress, being busy, being not busy at all, as you're going through that, and if you're not falling down, that's how you know, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on solid ground. I'm not on thin ice, right? Because when you first get out of OCD, this is another thing. I did a video on this, or quite a few videos on it, but we the, the tribe of people with ocd right our general uh um outlook our general character not for everybody but for most people i will include myself in this for sure we're the type of person that the second the cast is off the leg we are ready for a marathon we don't have an off button we don't have breaks we just like i'm going for it and you have to understand that just because you feel recovered you feel healed Last month, you were in a bad state. Or two months ago, you were in a bad state. Don't run a marathon. Your brain will not be able to handle it, and you will fall down and break your leg again. So 
ease into the busyness of your life if your life is really busy for most people not majority i'd say of people with ocd we make our lives very busy with all the special projects and this and that that's just how we do and that's fine but ease into it don't make it okay now i'm gonna go for everything i'm gonna live life with a vengeance all right now don't wait six months ease into real life step by step I hope you find my videos helpful. Thank you so much for listening. If you would like to do one-on-one -on -one session with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. I will see you tomorrow.